Hello everyone and welcome to my Shadow Tavern. Today's episode features four great new movies released on streaming platforms. Atmospheric Gothic Detective, Historical Movie, Long-Awaited Animation, and more in today's issue. Make yourselves comfortable, warm yourself up with some delicious tea, and have a great time watching. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Puss in Boots, Reckless Adventure, Ladies Man and Hero, was crushed by a church bell after his latest victory over a giant monster. When he awoke, Puss realized that his passion for adventure had taken its toll. He had used up eight of his nine cat lives, leaving him with only one left. At first, he thought this was no big deal, but an encounter with a sinister wolf caused him to rethink his priorities. When Goldilock and the three bears tell him about the wishing star, Puss decides to find it so he can make a wish and start his nine lives all over again. Puss in Boots 2 is the fantastic sequel to the original movie. The most surprising surprising and remarkable thing is that the sequel was released 11 years after the original, and it is undoubtedly much better than the original. One very noticeable difference is the animation style. Sure most of it is done in 3D, but there is also a 2D art style, as if the characters were hand-drawn, which is especially noticeable in the wolf and in the fight scenes. The visual transformation seems to have been influenced by the increasing financial success of anime and colorful western animation, such as Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. The colors and textures, shadows and effects all are delightful. The pacing is also noticeably better. The characters are charming and the jokes are great. At the same time, the movie manages to convey ideas of dedication, the importance of teamwork, and trust in others. Not to mention, there is a lot of heart and kindness in the movie, and all of this is conveyed in a way that is accessible to all ages. For myself, I may have already found one of the most heartwarming and funny movies of the year. Teen Wolf, the movie, is a premier supernatural drama for young adults, a sequel to the hit MTV series based on the acclaimed movie. Like the TV series, the film is based on a script by Jeff Davis. Notably, the original cast who have been familiar to fans since 2011 have returned to reprise the roles of their characters. At the time of the movie, Scott McCall has learned to live a normal human life and gotten a job in the animal shelter. However, despite all the experiences in the past, Scott finds himself unprepared for the arrival of a new evil. With the full moon, all kinds of creepy creatures are summoned, banshees, hellhounds, werewolves, Kitsune, and others, and only Alpha Werewolf Scott has the power to rally allies old and new to face the threat. Narvik. According to official description, April 1940, the world's attention is on Narvik, a small town in northern Norway, the source of the iron ore needed to fuel the German war machine. After two months of fierce winter warfare, the German leader suffers his first defeat, a new World War II movie from Norway that tells a slightly different story from the real battlefield, where Hitler suffered his first defeat as the movie's international title claims. Note that the movie's title is clearly not the most accurate and does not appear in the movie itself. This also becomes clear if you look at open sources and read more, for example on Wikipedia. We are introduced to the historical background of why Norway declared itself neutral at the beginning of World War II. Then we are introduced to the main characters, Gunnar Toft the soldier in the Norwegian army, and his wife Ingrid who works in a hotel, and is forced to become an interpreter for the head of the occupation forces. If the internet doesn't lie, Narvik was the most watched movie of 2022 in Norway. It tells the story of the innocent civilians of Narvik who suffer under the confrontation between the English and German forces. The Pale Blue Eye. Based on the novel of the same name by Louis Bayard, this gothic mystery film takes viewers back to Civil War America. In the 1830s, Detective Landor is called to the prestigious West Point Military Academy to investigate the death of a man. A cadet dies, but the next morning a horrifying fact comes to light. The young man's heart had been removed, with suicide now ruled out. The brass orders that this terrible incident be investigated as quietly as possible. Unable to get the information he needs from the private academy, Landor enlists the help of a lonely cadet Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Poe, never far from a drink and volumes of his poetry easily decides to help, and the two of them risk to face an unknown evil that eludes all attempts to solve the mystery. This movie is able to interest you with its ensemble of top actors led by Christian Bale. He is accompanied by Harry Mellick, Gillian Anderson, Toby Jones, Robert Duvall, Timothy Spall, Charlotte Gainsbourg, and others. The thriller, set against the beautiful backdrop of snow-covered New York, is very similar in atmosphere to Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow, not as dark and scary, but more mature and realistic. The work of legendary composer Howard Shore gives it a special sound, again about the cinematography, no chromakey madness and fake sets, everything is real, and that's one of the reasons why this dark story is so gripping. And that's it for today, thanks for watching, feel free to share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and click the buttons below the player, and see you in the next issue, bye.